Today I'm in Surrey. We're going to spend the whole day in the area exploring all of the best things to do in Surrey. Of course there's the beach, but there are also some great shops and great places to eat. First off, we need some coffee, well, and a chai tea latte for my mom. Um, I got the cold brew with a little bit of sweetener, which is really good. And while I don't love desserts, I do love pinwheels, cinnamon rolls, whatever you call them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just good. You can see the bottom. That's all sugar. I am here at Artists on Main, which is right on Main Street. It's a co-op of 25 artists. Normally one of them is in the shop at all times. It's a fantastic place to get souvenirs. We just left O Fudge, which is a PEI potato fudge shop. It is so great. Lots of interesting souvenirs there too, but also so many flavors of potato fudge. You're gonna wanna buy more than one package. We just got two. We might need a third. It could happen. We made it to Surrey Beach. There is a lobster shack, a poke shack, there's ice cream, there's paddling. When you go to PEI, you gotta go to the beach. We're here at Surrey Beach and originally we planned to go to the Poke Shack and although it's closed it's not so bad because one of my friends said that the Lobster Shack is one of the best places for a lobster roll on the island. Mmm! Oh! Okay. I can see what he's saying. Not too much mayonnaise. Mm. Great chunks of lobster. I'm really surprised. This is fantastic. It's just the right amount of mayo, and if you love lobster like I do, it's perfect. On a toasted bun, you can't get any better. Quick stop at the Surrey East Lighthouse, which was first built in 1880, before the town was incorporated in 1910, and it's always been considered one of the symbols of Surrey. quite shallow here and there is a sandbar so we're gonna walk out to it the water seems refreshing when you first start but it's actually really warm because it's so shallow and this is where I'll leave you because today is a perfect beach day